So hello everybody. So today I have to give a message about STDs. This is what the Spirit of God, uh, this is what he told me to talk about, STDs. I know that we're in the midst of this pandemic, right? We're already dealing with, you know, a disease, you know, um, that has claimed the lives of so many. So that's what, you know, what a lot of you are focused on, you know, this pandemic. But, you know, I still have to talk about STDs, okay? Because this is what God told me to talk about. Because uh, there's a lot of young people out here not just young, you know, um, people of all ages that participate in pre-marital uh, sex or maybe people that have sex with multiple people, uh, people that cheat on their spouses and um, you have sex with people that are not your spouse. So, you know, that's something that goes on, you know, um, people just sleeping around you know carelessly just sleeping around and a lot of people don't and uh people and there's people that do sleep around and they don't use protection okay and of course you know that comes with consequences um one of those major consequences is you can get an std okay if you have sex unprotected even while using protection you know you can still get an std HIV, chlamydia, you know, you can get these STDs. So, um, that's why God does tell us that, uh, you should wait until marriage, you know, to have sex. That's why God says this, you know. I do know that, uh, people do cheat on their spouses as well. That's why God says as well that you have to commit to your spouse, okay? Do not commit adultery, okay? Commit to your spouse, okay? And if you're not married, wait until marriage, okay? To have sex. That's what that's what God says, okay? It's just it's safer, it's healthier, you know. If you follow what God tells us to do, okay? If he says wait until marriage to have sex, please listen to God, okay? God knows best, okay? Cuz um it's not going to be cool right or it's not going to be pretty if you go to your clinic and you know you get tested to see if you have an std and you get back your results and it says hiv positive and it says you tested positive for chlamydia it's not going to be pretty okay especially hiv positive it's hiv is a very serious std it's very serious ones it's not going to be cool okay so please, you know, um, do as God instructed us, you know, wait until marriage until, until you have sex. Just wait until marriage. Just be patient, okay? Um, so, uh, yeah, and there's also people that participate in, like, uh, maybe you, you have th threesomes or um, maybe you're part of the LGBT community. Right, there's men having sex with men, women having sex with women. You know, a lot of this is going on. Um, but marriage is supposed to be between a man and a woman. Okay, a relationship is supposed to be between a man and a woman. That's how God ordained it, okay? It's not the same gender, okay? But it's between a man and a woman. And again, you know, wait until marriage to have sex. That's what God says, okay? Wait until marriage to have sex. This is what God says. And another thing is illegitimate pregnancies, right? Um, like you do not want to have children you know, with people that you're not married to, okay? You don't want to do this. Um, or, you know, maybe have a baby even though you're not ready to have one. You don't want that to happen, okay? Um, that's why, you know, the major reason for abortion, okay? Um people you know they're having babies even though they're not ready to have a baby or although you know they don't really want a child you know because they're participating in 
um, either sex before marriage or you're just having sex carelessly, you know. Um, when really, it's really, sex is only supposed to be, um, it's only j just to, to conceive, you know, should we just to conceive, that's what, that's what God made it for, you know, that's all we have. You know, that's why God made it for, you know, just to conceive, just to have a baby, that's it, you know, it's not so, it's not just for pleasure and for fun, you know, it's just to have a baby, it's just to conceive, so there's no reason to do it, you know, it's to have sex, if you're not, if you don't plan to have a baby, there's no reason for it, you know. <laughs> um, you know, uh, I think a lot of people are just, they're brainwashed by TV. You know, TV, there's always, they're always showing us sex scenes, you know, they're brainwashed. Um, maybe by you know, movies as well, you know, sex scenes. And pornography, you know, a lot of people watch pornography, so this is why you, you want to participate in premarital sex, or why you, you choose to have threesomes, you know, because you're watching pornography, you know, um, maybe, please stop watching pornography, please stop watching that, you know, it's very detrimental, okay. Um, Plus, if you're in a relationship, right, or you plan to be in a relationship, a relationship, it, sex shouldn't even really be important. It's it's really about the bond that you have with somebody, right, in a relationship. Communication is key, okay? You have to know how to communicate with your partner. You need to know how to communicate, you know, have something to say. Okay, and it's all about that bond. It's not about sex. That just, that should be last, you know, it should be last in a relationship. It doesn't shouldn't be uh, first and foremost, you know, so it's all about communication and bond, okay? So, you know, that's just today's message, okay? It's all about, you know, waiting until marriage, okay? You should wait until marriage, okay, to have sex, so that we don't, so that, you know, we don't get STDs, you know, we don't, have illegitimate children, you know. So that's today's message, okay? So, um, God bless everybody that will see this. Now, just end this with a prayer. So, Father God, please watch over us, protect us. Um, don't let any of us fall ill, okay? Um, don't let any of us get STDs or don't let any of us get the corona, okay? Just protect us, God. Uh, Cover us with the precious blood of Christ Jesus. Protect us and our families. Help us to repent of our sins, God, and to turn back to you. Let your will be done in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. And uh, lastly, remember to allow Christ to live in your heart. Okay? Um, and let Christ be the Lord of your life. Okay? Remember to live for Jesus Christ. Pick up your Bible and read it every day stay in prayer so may god bless everybody that will see this so thank you for watching oh and i also want to thank um everybody that watches the videos that likes my videos that comments under the videos that shares the videos i want to thank you okay it, it truly means a lot okay. so thank you all for watching god bless you